What is up my dudes? Uh, so in this video, this was a couple weeks ago, I'm pulling out my serger because I am going to be serging an edge of a tablecloth that someone asked me to modify for them. Basically what I had to do was um, trim off about 20 inches from this tablecloth. Um, and surprise, if you didn't know this about me, I actually went to school for apparel design so um, that's why every once in a while people will ask me to do projects for them so here i am trying to remember how to open the foot of the serger um usually the ones that i had in school we would push a pedal on the like by our knee but this one didn't have that um i'm pretty sure it just had the normal like sewing foot um like lever that you pull uh, and eventually i did figure that out so let's watch me finish this edge and re-add the tassels back on and finish it off. tired as you can tell i'm trying to show you the time and it is 3 30 3 40 in the morning i had to go open at the bigger gym that i work at uh, on sundays and i was very tired i have a couple packages that i want to open up with you one of them i actually already opened up i really like working out and i recently found a brand that i really like I'm sure a lot of you have already heard of it. It's called Buff Bunny. My sister loves these leggings and she turned me on to these leggings. Um, this is the logo. They're just like a plain black pair of leggings and they have pockets on both sides. Um, but they just feel so soft and buttery. And they also make your butt look really good, <laughs> which is always a plus. So I ordered these shoes like three weeks ago. I ordered them off Depop actually um and the girl she was like ups store closes before i get out of work and isn't open when i start and then she was having issues with the the shipping label and i was like whatever i just want the shoes and they finally came so 
I needed new winter boots. So that's what these are. Watch it not be the boots. <laughs> oh, thank God. She put blue tissue paper in here and I was like, oh no, is that, is that not the shoes? So I've been wearing like knockoff Tims for a lot, like a while, probably like four or five years now. And I was like, mm, let me check and see if anyone's selling any for a decent price. Now I just hope they fit. <laughs> Last thing, because I work out a lot, um, it's really hard to work out in my glasses. I tried ordering contacts online from 1-800-CONTACTS. And so yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> Bye. I feel like I look like an idiot. I should have washed my hair. So today, uh, I'm meeting my sister and my mom. We're gonna go get our eyebrows and like lip wax. I'm sure you can see from here, because I know I can. Uh, how bad this has been uh, because I knew that we were getting our we had an appointment set I um, let it just like kind of outgrow and then in between here is bad and then just like clean up around here also I'm wearing the cluster eyelashes <laughs> they don't look too bad I always feel like they look a lot worse and a lot more um, outrageous but they don't look too bad Except for my hair, my hair looks like shit. All right, here we go. Also, one more thing. Can't forget my selfies. <laughs> so here's a picture of me, my mom, and my sister. I ended up not recording too much this day, um, and we ended up going to breakfast. This was a before picture, and you can clearly see my mustache. And then the next picture coming up is the after. I went home and showered. And then a couple more pictures coming up. This is a half birthday gift my sister gave me. She's all about celebrating our half birthday as much as our normal birthday. I just love that she loves to give gifts. I think it's super sweet. And then later that night, I went home and I baked cupcakes for one of my coworkers at the gym that I work with on Sundays. It was her birthday, so uh, these were the before and then the after. What's up, my dudes? Um, okay, so today is Friday, and I try to make a point about like once a month to go get my nails redone and try and match it with what's going on. Um, so I took off today, went and got my nails done. I was originally gonna do like a green color because St. Patrick's Day is next week, so um. I showed the guy the picture and then he said that the color for the base that I picked out didn't work so I had to use like this peachy kind of like nude color um, and then I was like I was gonna do a pistachio green over the original color I picked and it just didn't work out so the peachy color I was like I need to pick a different color um, and then he also like cut the crap out of my finger with the uh the drill and so um I was like you know what <laughs> he can't complain if I want to change the color uh because he just hurt me um and it was bleeding like crazy um not like crazy but it was bleeding you know more than most cuts with the drill do um so this is what they look like it's cool abstract paint kind of situation but yeah so that's what they look like um uh, i have a little haul for you guys because i did get paid today so i'm gonna do a little bit of a haul of what i bought um i also decorated for easter like spring so i have my little bunny pillow and it has ears little ears and then speaking of bunnies my sister and i we went to hobby lobby saw this like right when we came in and I was like this is so cute I have these windows they're like two giant windows up uh, like at the top because I think this apartment used to be like a storefront uh, but then they converted it um, 
So yeah, I got this cute little sparkly bunny and I'm gonna put it in the window up there. Earlier this week, my mom's sister and I went to Hobby Lobby and I wanted to make like a fake floral arrangement for the window. Um, Cause I like to buy myself flowers every once in a while. Uh, but they're just so hard to upkeep and I would like to have something more permanent up there. I bought this pot and I think I'm gonna spray paint it like a gold color. Just definitely not keep it white because white is not my color. So I got this cool pot. It's really big and then I have this little like styrofoam square that's gonna go in there. I have to trim it down and then I'm gonna make the floral arrangement and put it in my window. But today, um, I went to go buy the flowers for it because they were on sale. So this is like the general arrangement that I'm going for. There's like these cool things with like little pom-pom balls on it. Okay, flower move. So I thought those were cool. Just like cute little buds. These are really pretty, like a light little pink. Some nice like puffy white ones and just some greenery. So yeah, I'm gonna make an arrangement with those. And I feel like I've been sleeping on Hobby Lobby because I love like doing like artsy type projects. I just don't have the time to do it really. Um, but yeah, it was like a good place to go. Oh, and I also bought this painting. I tried doing something on my own, but it didn't really work out, so. Yeah, I bought that. After Hobby Lobby, and before I got my nails done, um, we went to Ulta, and this is like my ride or die lip balm. It's by Clinique, it looks like this. Um, I already have like two other ones that are open, but I try to use it till like it's very last like length of life. Uh, just because it is a bit pricey for lip balm. I think it's like 17 bucks, but um, I swear on my life, I feel like it works so well for me. Um, and then it looks like this. So yeah, if you ever have the opportunity to try it, I definitely recommend it. I like to wear it at night and then just like kind of like let it sit. Um, so yeah, there's that. I know a lot of people who have birthdays in March. So next week, it's one of my coworkers at my city job's birthday. So I'm going to be making her some treats, making her those like Oreo balls, new mix cream cheese with it. Uh, and then so they get like super mushy. It's almost like a truffle. They're really rich, but they taste so good. Just the large size of normal Oreos. And then cream cheese is in the fridge. And then I do the dark or like the milk chocolate candy coating. This is from Target. Only because when I do it with the white, I feel like the pieces from the Oreo tend to fall in it and then it doesn't look as clean and pretty. And I bought two because my manager on Sundays at the gym I work at, her birthday is also coming up. So I'm making her some of those as well. So I bought two of these, two packages of Oreos. I don't know where the other one is. It's probably somewhere in here. Uh, and then I also want to make a treat for the Sunday gym job this weekend. Um, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I usually make like that mix by uh, Instagram user the Baker Mama. Um, I made the Valentine's Day one in a previous video, and I'm kind of doing a variation of her St. Patrick's Day one. So I'm gonna do a box of Lucky Charms white chocolate and then Trix cereal which I haven't had in so long and I really want to eat it but it's corn so I can't really don't want it. I'm not gonna mess around with it and then I should have gotten pretzels that was the thing I forgot yeah oh well that's okay the manager at the gym that I work in on Sundays her name is Jen <laughs> so if I ever refer to Jen that's who I'm talking about uh, her birthday um, the day of her birthday, I'm gonna make puppy chow um, and then sprinkle it with, I bought off of Amazon just the bag of Lucky Charms marshmallows. So I'm gonna make puppy chow, so I bought the checks. I have the powdered sugar already and a large jar of peanut butter. I also bought the chocolate for the puppy chow mix. 
and then I'm gonna sprinkle in the Lucky Charms and have that for everyone and then as well as make her the Oreos. This isn't until like later, um, but I'll probably end up making like the Baker Mama's Easter mix too. But they had all the Easter stuff out already and I'm like, this is gonna be gone by the time Easter rolls around. So I bought a giant thing of pastel colored M&Ms. And then um, springtime circus animal animal crackers so I'll make that too I'll have to get a, another thing of the milk the white chocolate although I do have some squares up there so I might just use that but I'll obviously have to get more for this um, but again I'll wait until it comes closer like pretzels um, some type of cereal to mix in it things like that so for my manager at my city job um, I was talking to her and she said she had this giant Yeti cup and it never fits in any of her cup holders. So I saw this, I'm sure Instagram or YouTube was listening to me. Um, it's an insert to put in your car. Um, so yeah, the bottom can go in there and then it rotates to expand so that you have your own cup holder. And then this portion that also expands too. So it's, it could fit like pretty much any size cup. And then you still have the two more cups, cup holders in the car. Uh, so I was like, this is amazing. And then I also ordered a present for Jen, um, but it's coming in the mail still. Hopefully it'll, I think it should be here relatively soon. It's just something small because I'm baking something for her. I ordered some stuff off of Shein, or however you say it, Shein, Shein. Um, I, this could be, I ordered two shirts, a dress and a cardigan, and I'm pretty sure that this is one of the shirts that I ordered. I ordered two of the same shirt, um, hopefully it fits, but it just like waste my time ordering two of the same thing. Yeah, so it's one of the shirts and I'll try it on and show you. So it's like a cute like waffle knit pattern shirt. It's a little big, but I like my things like baggier and I have to be in the mood to wear something form fitting. Otherwise, I'm just going to be uncomfortable all day. So. I'm gonna try it on and we'll see how it goes. Be right back. Okay, so it kind of fits. Um, it is a little bit see-through though. So you can like see my bra, but I'm sure that's an easy fix, you know? But it's really comfy and it fits a lot better than I was expecting. So I'll probably end up keeping it and then just layer it with stuff. But yeah, that is all I have for today. And I will see you in the next one. Later, my dudes. So I forgot one more thing that I bought. I'll take it out here. So you don't have to listen to that. It says, need to pee? Text me. I'll take a picture and insert it here, but I just thought it was funny. Then I got it from Hobby Lobby too, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put it in my bathroom. Otherwise, okay, I think that's everything. Okay, bye. Thank you.